that's happening in the Indy Minute. First, let's talk about the stuff that's happening locally involving the Sorgachon Media folks. A lot of stuff. Big weekend for you guys. Two oh, shows God, this yes. weekend. Um, uh, splitting up the forces. Uh, first, let's talk about our friends at International Wrestling Cartel that are holding combat in Clearfield in, guess where? Clearfield. Yay. Um, National Pro Wrestling Day. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> no that's, that's, that's wrong. Wait till February. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so, Sorg, uh, how are, how much are you excited for this event? <coughs> Very excited! Wow, he can, he's choked up about he it. He can't breathe. He's that excited. <laughs> he is so excited for coming. That, that was some bad timing there. Um, no, <laughs> IWC always a good one. Clearfield, I haven't been back there for a year, uh, so uh, that crowd's usually really good. You know, I you know I like going to the small towns. Um, that we sure they don't like frequent it. too often. Should be some good stuff. Hey. Go over there, actually. Friends of the show, IWCWrestling.com. They actually have a poll going on. Friend of the show, Justin Plummer uh, versus Justin Labar of the Chair Shot Reality Show. Uh, of course, uh, uh, they uh, Labar has been doing Chair Shot Reality live at uh, in IWC for several months, causing a lot of trouble. Justin Plummer, uh, always a good guy, does great aftershock shows. Been just been tremendous lately. Um, so go over there and you'll see there's a poll to see if they will have a live aftershock with Justin Plummer, friend of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, with his guest, other friend of the show, uh, Logan Shulo, who there's some big news coming out of the Logan, Logan Shulo camp, uh, lately with WWE and everything, uh, or, uh, Justin Labar with his, his, uh, guest, uh, again, friend of the show, uh, Shane Taylor. Uh, so go vote for our, our boy, Justin Plummer, give him a shot there. Uh, shot in the arm there. I'm going to go vote for him again. There you go. Uh, so go check that out. Help that out and get our boy uh, uh, Aftershock uh, right in the middle of the Clearfield crowd. And also go over there. We also have the Retro Reunion, of course, is up there for DVD and digital download. Uh, but as far as uh, uh, this weekend, um, should be some really great matches. Mike Elgin of, uh, of Ring, Ring of Honor, Honor is going to be there against Logan Shulo. Uh, Bobby that should be really good. Bobby Fish will hopefully finally take on Andrew Palace. This, is, this has been canceled before. Dalton Castle against Shane Taylor uh, and then all the other great stuff. Sexy, t- sexy talented dudes. We saw Chess Flexor on the show last week doing some interesting stuff. We got to get we gotta get the sexy, talented dudes down here uh, for a Mayhem show sometime. Um, and, of course, Zima, I am, I'm sorry, Shima Zion. He's reverted back to the old name. Uh, the- they are... Uh- New Super Indie Champion against Ashton Amherst and other friend of the show, Facade. Justin Idol against John McChesney for the title. Uh, it, it, it's going to be a fun show. Uh, it's going to be a blast. We'll be up there, uh, Sorgatron Media. But Sorgatron Media will also be hanging out. Uh, the B team uh, with uh, Chachi and all of them is going B to be... for beautiful. B for beautiful. Cause the, Hi, Chachi. Because the, yeah, it's going to be Chachi and the ladies over there. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. What? I don't know. Chachi's angels. Um, but uh, joining us now, let us know what's going on with the Re- Renegade Wrestling Alliance, who's got that show Saturday in West Newton, PA. So if you're in the Northwest or Southwest pre- Pennsylvania, you got a show coming up. Uh, <laughs> Aaron Wheels, hey. give us a quick rundown. What is going on with RWA? Oh my god, Sorg, I am so excited. This starts the beginning of what's going to happen Saturday. The contract signing of Lodi and simply the best, Ryan Edmonds, in a steel cage. Now, we don't know what's going to happen after that. I mean, if history dictates itself, chaos will prevail. But uh, also, we have... A tag team title match, once again, of the A-list and the Wild West. And I just heard from the boss himself, he said, he guarantees, and he says, and I quote, this has to end between the A-list and the Wild West, so the better team shall win. And I just also got some news from him that... There will be a women's match, Sorg. Okay. 
And the women's match will be because of, I guess, that promo you would see on the front of RWALive.com from one Miss Serafini saying there's not enough women and they want a women's division. So the boss said, fine. You want a women's division? We'll start Saturday. So Serafini versus Angel Dust. Nice, nice. And I also saw upcoming... Uh, you guys have uh, Miss Jessie Bell Smothers, which is, is that's Tracy Smothers' daughter? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So she'll she be coming, be coming to, in soon. She'll be coming to a future uh, uh, edition of, of, of Renegade Wrestling Alliance, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's heating up with the women's division, the tag team division, the heavyweight division. And, of course, the big team. And K- also, match. the PA up. regional title will be defended this Saturday. And that person will be announced this Saturday. So, if you want to know who's going to be there, be at the show. Awesome. Thanks, Wheels. Go check out all that stuff at rwalive.com and keep it out. We've been running a Twitter contest again for free tickets if you're in the Pittsburgh area to go to that show. Uh, so, follow at Mayhem Show on Twitter, that right there if you're on the video. Um, and, and retweet to win. Uh, we gave away tickets a, a couple months ago to that and IWC. Glad to see uh, they really enjoyed the RWA show. Um, uh, I know I got some feedback on that. So, uh, Eamon, what else is going on in the world of Indies? Also happening in the world of Indy, uh, down in the Texas area uh, this weekend, if you love uh, music, if you love comedians, and if you also love professional wrestling, there's awesome stuff happening for Anarchy Championship Wrestling. Uh, for the fourth year in a row, they'll be participating in Fun 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 Fest, which is the annual music, uh, comedy, just all around amazing uh festival that's held in austin every year big stuff uh you know people like snoop dog aka snoop lion uh mia uh tons of just amazing talented people and professional wrestling all in the same venue uh they have uh uh they have lineups all throughout november 8th 9th and 10th um at the auditorium shores in austin texas uh so i encourage you if you like that kind of stuff and also want to get your pro wrestling fix in there go down and check out Anarchy Championship Wrestling. There, uh, you can get the times uh, for the the days that they'll have wrestling uh, at their website, anarchychampionshipwrestling.com. So go check that out and uh, go uh, support them. Uh, and finally, I want to mention some stuff because there has been, uh, I want, and I want to sort of have some discussion with this as well. There's been some developments that have been happening with uh, the uh, obviously back in July there was a big shakeup that happened with Jakara Pro, uh, the whole you know. Uh, what it seemed like the closing of the company, the sort of end of it, uh, and sort of all the fallout that's been happening with that. Um, I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned this entirely. Um, it's been definitely interesting to see. They've been utilizing a lot of different, I think, innovative aspects for an independent wrestling company. Uh, they're implementing stuff in the wrestling is promotions, which I enjoy, um, which I actually think is a very cool concept. Uh, they're doing those ashes videos, which in my opinion, I think have been a, bit hit or miss but i uh, you know all, all in the same i think they're you know really trying to sell a story and uh they had a uh they had a makeshift event uh, uh like sort of the uh the activists i guess for reinstating chikara pro had an event in uh a uh, i forgot the park name uh in philadelphia um held an event and uh apparently there was a kidnapping of one of the fans by condor security which is the group that uh is the uh sort of the reason why chikara is sort of crumbling um, it's been interesting and they released a video saying that, uh, November 20th, uh, for everyone to return to the park so they can get back their, uh, their, uh, their, uh, their, uh, Chikara, uh, fan, I guess you could say that they have captured. Um, and, uh, that around the time of when they usually have their big, like end of the year pay-per-view. Um, so stuff is starting to develop. Uh, like I mentioned before, I think, it's been very hit or miss with what this stuff has been with Chikara, which really, I mean, I, I hate saying that because we, I think I mentioned it before. Chikara has done amazing storyline stuff. Like they are probably one of my top favorites when it comes to independent wrestling storytelling. They do an amazing job of it. Um, but I think now we're starting to see some stuff develop. We're starting to see some of it grow. Um, and hopefully we'll get some closure. We'll hopefully we'll get some explanation as to what is behind it all. Um, because so far I think a lot, it's very disjointed. We haven't had a lot of explanations since July when the company closed. 
um, was just sort of getting like bits and pieces and none of them are sort of really connecting, uh, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm interested. Um, I would say definitely go follow all the wrestling good stuff. Go follow anything Shikara. Go check them out because I'm, I'm at least intrigued. And like I said, this is something completely different than what independent yeah. wrestling has been doing. Um, what could have been, I, and obviously this is just reports and insider or whatever, what could have been a dire situation that might have actually ended the company, um, they're utilizing and they're sort of taking and they're not just you know dying by the wayside, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so I'm interested to see how that develops. So go, no, go ahead, sir. I would say on the discussion side of it, I, I think what Chikara is really, uh, Chikara has always been really good about the storytelling aspect of it, uh, in the past. Um, and, and I think, I think when, from what I've seen with Chikara and the guys involved, I mean, you can kind of see that everybody that is Chikara, um, kind of, carry that banner and carry that way of storytelling. Um, you know, it, I don't think it, that's cool. It, it's I not just, it's not just like my like quack and Bush's brainstorm thing. And maybe it's because everybody came through the wrestle factory or something, but they got that in the back of their head. You see Chuck Taylor doing the Instagram thing where he's doing the 27, 24, seven rule, uh, in Instagram <laughs> I, video. I, don't, I don't know how much that plays into the actual storyline. No, 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 no. And no, and, and I'm not saying that this all has to do with Shakara proper, but, even if this is an outside thing, um, you know, Icarus going and doing doing the hey everybody in Chikara blah you know get together and I, I, I not that I followed ex- everything uh, with this uh, to see exactly where it's going, uh, but from what I've seen from the Icarus stuff, like you know these guys have in the back of their head how to tell a story and how to gain fans and how to use social media and how yeah. to kind of rally everybody and kind of tell a narrative outside of the ring. Um, and I think, and I, and I agree. That's really been the selling point of this entire storyline. Exactly. And I don't know what that translates in on people buying their DVDs on interest. You know, if nothing else, people, they're still talking about it. So somebody's still selling DVDs, right? And says, Oh, what's Chikara? Oh, oh what is this? You know, there's still a big catalog out there for you to somebody to dive into. Right. Um, mm-hmm. plus they do also still have the streaming and everything going on with them too. With right. that like, monthly thing. Right. Uh, so, I mean, again, this is like another, you know, they, they almost live on back catalog at this point, maybe. Yeah. Um, so, which is great. I, I also just, I, I, I think it's very innovative if it's pulled off the way I think they're hoping to pull it off. Yeah. Um, I think it's also super risky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it all is. But, I mean, what's a, dude, Chikara was super not, risky. The, like, beginning of this year, they were on such a high. Yeah. Like, Everyone knew about Chikara. They were selling out arenas. They sold out WrestleCon yeah. with like a thousand people. Like that's insane. I think I think whatever took them out of the game, at least rumors of it being like maybe a legal matter or something like that. I think that the more and more you look at it, and you look at those kinds of facts, I think it's more and more legitimate. Um, mm-hmm. Like that it wasn't a choice. I think it's this happened. We had to do this. Okay, what can we do with this? And I think that's where. When your hands force, that's where the most inventive stuff's going to happen. Yeah, I agree. I just hope the stuff that they're linking sort of eventually ties together. Because to me, it seems very disjointed still. Because we have like the Ashes videos mm-hmm. that are good and they, they pique people's interest, but I don't think they really connect. And I think it really is different people doing different things. I think yeah. somebody who is doing uh, involved with the next step of it is doing their thing and they're keeping it close to the chest. But I think everybody else is also trying to capitalize on it too, which, you know, great. You know, they're like, well, if I don't have Chikara, at least I could do this. Right. Um, and, and keep their name alive with that. Um, Cause I wonder if some of these guys, do they really have much of a, you know, we talk about wrestlers or brands as far as like the WWE goes, do they really have like a wrestler brand as big when they're not attached to something like Chikara? That's true. The, the, and that, that was mentioned in one of the videos, like Chuck Taylor mentioned, like he's still wrestling for like Dragon Gate and like all these like yeah. great companies and like Icarus doesn't really have anything. Yeah, and I, I don't I don't mean that as a slight for like like no, 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 Taylor or I, Icarus or anything, but I think I think like just like um you know, somebody is saying, Oh, he's a TNA guy, oh he was a WB guy, like that's that's your claim to thing. fame, you know. I, I think Chikara is that is that kind of 
Fame anchor for these guys, and you can say, well, Chikara is an indie, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, no, Chikara is one of the most important indies out there, mm. uh, I think, or one of, you know, just like you can say the same thing about a PWG. I, I consider it on the level of a Ring of Honor, because even though Ring of Honor has a TV deal, like, they're reaching a lot of people. Exactly. Exactly. Like, so... I know, I, I know two people. Out. I know two people that like Ring of Honor and dig the hell out of Ring of Honor more than anything else on TV right now, and it's it's pretty fantastic. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully all that stuff pans out, and uh, I'm interested to see where it goes. Uh, so follow that, and that, my friends, is the indie minute for this week. Thank you for that, and of course, how can you support this? How can you support that? We have one. Tell us about uh, if you have an indie promotion you think we should be talking about. I know we get kind of repetitive ones. We know in our area, we try to reach out as much as possible. But, we'll, but you know, there's a lot of indie wrestling out there. There's a guy that emails us a list of every indie wrestling promotion every week. Have you you've seen that list, Damon? I have. I, I let I'll, let I'll figure out a way that I can do like a speed run of all. You know what we should do. You know what you should do. Whenever you get that list during the week, you should do uh, throw it in a random number generator and just pick one random promotion. Uh, and again, make sure it meets our criteria that they have DVDs, i pay per views, something that we can check them out. That these mm. people can check it out, so it's not just hey, they're in our backyard. Again, everything we talked about today has DVDs either on SorgatronMedia.com, SmartMarkVideo.com, have IP pay-per-views all that stuff at their respective websites um then we need to really mention the websites more i think uh, maybe we've been a little slacking on that too uh, but we try to tweet them and everything as well um yeah. you know and, 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 and let's just do like random indie generator of the week you know or something like that just spitballing mm-hmm. here but um but it, what you can also support us is uh by the app guys if you got an ios device if you got an android device uh, it's on there. It's on the Amazon App Store. If you do have Android, unfortunately, it's and I think it is like as the.